talk about SH tie. A drunken party goer, or party goers, vandalized the bathroom at the main room nightclub in Southampton on Saturday night causing $50,000 in damages. They bashed everything, they pulled out the urinal water line, distraught owner Zach Herdim tells page 6. It's almost an entire wall. It's very upsetting. Why would you do that? Video seen by page 6 shows six massive holes in the walls all around the bathroom, plus a urinal ripped out. The perpetrators hit when the club was busy. No one knows who it was, Erdem says. To pull that out you have to be a powerful person. They're animals. It was scary. We're told there were no plumbers available over the busy holiday weekend, but luckily there was at least one other functional bathroom at the spot. Air Dim tells us the damage will cost him $50,000 to fix, and that he plans to keep security guards outside the bathrooms to make sure the culprits don't strike again. Every single person in and out, he will check the door to check that everything is okay, Erdem says. He is also offering a $1,000 reward and free meals to anyone who tips him to the identity of the bathroom bandits. The venue was formerly known as Buddha Lounge. Last year, cops showed up when a Flo Rida concert for an exclusive group of just 22 got too loud. Over at Airdam's other spot Blue Mar, things were calmer. Jason Benz du Jura magazine hosted a bash that brought out Katie Craig and Reverend Al Sharpton, we hear. Restaurant 75 Main, there were some angry and impatient customers due to Erdem drawing attention now that his reality show, Serving the Hamptons, is airing on Discovery. You couldn't walk two feet without customers taking selfies with him and his staff from 75 Main Street, said a spy, who noted it caused some chaos. It happened so much that food was delayed by an hour at some patrons' tables. People were pretty angry. Meanwhile, over at Michael Pizzino's Naya restaurant at the Capri Hotel, billionaire John Katzmitatidis showed off his 50-pound weight loss. The WABC radio owner was spotted hosting a breakfast with Suffolk County Police Commissioner and former NYPD Chief Rodney Harrison, and former Governor David Patterson.